Welcome to your vinyasa practice this afternoon. My name is Blair and we've got Malvina who's going to practice uh, the, the sequence for us. Uh, today we're going to do a vinyasa ladder flow. Uh, so basically once we get going we're going to be adding poses onto the top of each other until uh, we get to a kind of a peak point in the practice and then we'll move into a different part of the sequence. So just follow along, do what you can um, and if you need to rest at any point just rest. Remember, follow your breath. It's the key to the practice. Let's begin in child's pose. Malvina. Beautiful. So coming into child's pose, <clears throat> the uh, knees are wide, big toes are together, and the forehead softly rests onto the mat. The hands reach forward, and it's just really about tuning, in, tuning into your body. Like, notice how the body is, what's happening in your body, sensations, uh, the irritations, uh, any pain, any injuries, you just start to pay attention to any tension. I know for me, for many years I just blocked out pain and injuries until I couldn't really move very well and of course yoga came into my life and completely transformed it for me. So the main thing is to focus on the body here. Right, now from here, let's come up onto the hands and knees. Oh yeah. Nice, and then from there, downward facing dog. We'll go straight into downward dog. Now when you get to down dog, you can step the feet up and down a little bit, if you want to. Feet are approximately hip width apart, hands shoulder width apart. Good, and then the, uh, the hips lift up, and the heels, rather than pressing the heels down, focus on pressing them back slightly. Yeah, and then turn the sit bones up, draw the front ribs in, and just lengthen through the inner arms, and just soften the eyes. Yeah, now the shoulder blades move away from each other, they just wrap around there. Yeah, and then the hips press up, and all the way back. Yeah. And then your just stays on one point at the back of the mat. Nice, so from there you're going to just walk your hands to the back of the mat, and come into ragdoll. Grab a hold of the elbows, hang forward. You can bend your knees here. If you need to, any back pain, you could leave your hands on the floor, but just let your head dangle. You can make sure the feet are awake, arches are bright. <sighs> okay, I know the sit bones, the bones, the, the, the base of the pelvis, they broaden. They broaden and the inner thighs will gently spin back. Okay, now from there, you're just going to release your hands back down and walk your hands forward back into the downward facing dog pose. Again, the eyes rest on that center spot, uh, they dwell, and they just meditate. It's just like a Buddha gaze. They meditate on one spot, and this concentrates the mind, big part of the practice. The sound of the breath is key. You want to hear the sound of the breath, and that's going to develop your ujjayi, pranayama, and your bandhas focusing on the sound. From there, we're going to uh, step all the way to the front of the mat. We'll take a halfway lift, breathing in. Fingertips on the mat or on the shins if you need to. Feet hip width or together. Bow forward, exhale. Ground your feet, reach up to standing, all the way up. And then bring your hands down to the heart center. Great, now let's begin again from here. We'll do some sun salutations uh, and then get into the ladder floor. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Gently draw the chin in, but no strain in the neck. Halfway left, breathe in. Step back, high plank. Now shift forward, drop knees if you need to, low plank. Lower all the way to the floor, cobra, and then up dog if you feel you want to come to up dog. Great, nice. And then from there, downward facing dog again. Come into your breath feeling the body, tuning into the body, and breathing into the body. Control your breath, ujjayi. If you're newer to the practice, we just extend the inhale and the exhale breath. Now let's take a long breath in again. Exhale your breath. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop to the front, halfway left as you breathe in. Fold forward, exhale. Rise to standing, inhale, extend high. Samastahiti, bring your hands down. 
One more time. Reach your arms up. Breathe in. Fold forward. Exhale. Gaze to the navel. Lengthen the spine. Breathe in. Low plank. Step back or jump if you want. You know, cobra or up, to up dog. Inhale. Spread the toes into the floor. Downward facing dog. Exhale your breath. Good. Again, the steadiness of your breath, the sound of the breath. Mm, nice. So take a breath in. Exhale. Bend the knees. Step or hop to the front. Halfway left. Breathe in. Folding forward. Breathe out. Reach up to standing. Breathe in. And Samasahiti, hands down. Bend the knees. Utkatasana. Inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step or jump, low plank, exhale. Inhale, up dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Okay, now this afternoon we're going to take the leg up to the sky. Reach your right leg up. Good, and then take the right knee into the chin for tiger curl. Hug the knee in, and then look forward, step through crescent lunge. Reach your arms up. Good, back heel high, turn the left hip forward, extend the arms, and just soften the shoulders. Take one more breath in, low plank, exhale, come forward on the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg goes up as you breathe in. Now, dimmy point the foot, that means press through the mound of this big toe here. And then take the knee into the chin. Look forward, step through, crescent lunge. Reach your arms up. Again, the arms, the little fingers can wrap in slightly. And then there's breath. Make sure there's breath there. Get a little long breath in again. Low plank, exhale, come forward on the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, let's take right leg up to the sky again. Breathe in. Knee to chin, tiger curl. Step it through, crescent lunge, reach your arms up. Exhale, arrowhead, stretch your fingers back. Ground the back foot flat, warrior one, inhale. Low plank, exhale. Upward facing dog, press the pelvis forward. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg floats up. Knee to chest, look forward. Crescent lunge, breathe in. Arrowhead, breathe out. Warrior one, back foot flat, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathing out. Inhale, up dog, collarbones broad. Downward facing dog. Let's keep building, right leg up. Knee to chest. Crescent lunge. Arrowhead. Warrior one. Warrior two, reverse warrior two, broadening the front knee. Low plank, cartwheel to the up. Cobra pose or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg up. Tiger curl. Crescent lunge. Arrowhead. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse warrior two, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right leg floats up smoothly. Tiger curl, knee right in. Crescent lunge. Arrowhead, warrior one. Warrior two, reverse warrior two. Skandasana to the back of the mat. Reaching warrior to the front of the mat. Cartwheel, low plank, exhale. Beautiful. Upward dog, squeeze the thighs. Downward facing dog, left leg, inhale. Tiger curl. Crescent lunge as you breathe in. Arrowhead, exhale. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse warrior two. 
Skandasna, back off the map. Reaching warrior, Dristi on the target. Low plank, cartwheel to the L. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep adding, keep adding. Right leg up again. Inhale, knee to chest. Crescent lunge. Arrowhead. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse warrior two. Skandasana. Okay, now this time, right hand behind you. Warrior's bridge pose. Press your hips up to the sky. Warrior's right up. Beautiful. Skandasana. Exhale. Reaching warrior. Inhale. Low plank. Exhale. Beautiful walk. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg inhale. Tiger curl, breathe out. Crescent lunge, powerful. Arrowhead, empty. Warrior one, round, powerful back leg. Warrior two. Reverse warrior two. Skandasana. Left hand behind you, warrior's bridge pose. Skandasana. Reaching warrior. Chaturanga, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Take the right leg up to the sky. This time, bend the knee and open. Okay, now you're going to flip your dog all the way over. Flip dog, feet parallel, hip width or shoulder width, and heart bright. Breathing deeply. Nice. Now take a long inhale. Crescent lunge. Step the right foot forward. Inhale the arms up. Yeah. Nice. Now the back heel is high as you can see here. And we just lower the front hip a little bit. Left hip turns forward. Extend the elbows. Breathe deeply. Mm, powerfully. And then bring your hands to your heart. Come forward. Revolving crescent lunge. Spin to the right side. Palms together. Now keep your palms together. Do not open your arms. Keep them together and breathe here. Now ground the right hip, right sit bone to right heel. Good. And then the back leg gets engaged. Back heel high. Press through the back heel without moving it. Mm, nice. Now from there, you're just going to keep the back heel really high and begin to straighten the front leg. Coming into the twist, straightening the front leg. It's a powerful pose. Breathe deeply. Three, two, take a breath in. Arrowhead, exhale. Airplane pose, float forward, airplane. Yeah, Good. just stay steady here, breathe. Left inner thigh spins up, toes are bright, beautiful. Hands to your heart, hands to heart. Good, and then standing splits, hold forward, standing splits. Bow the head down, feel here, breathe. Mm, bow the head, beautiful. Spread the toes. Nice. Now take a long breath in, and then both feet together, fold forward, exhale. Udkatasana, breathing in. Samastahiti, stand up tall. Good. Squat down. Let's go into crow pose. So crow pose, set the hands about shoulder width apart. Make sure the inner hand grounds down and the fingertips press. Knees on the arms. If the toes don't come up, that's okay. But if the toes do come up, heels to the bum, point the toes back. Now push through the armpit, soften the eyes, take a breath in. Chaturanga, step or jump. Beautiful. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale. Good. Now left leg up, the feet together first actually. Left leg up, bend the knee, open the hips up, and then flip the dog all the way over. Feel your body, breathe here. Good. Back body bright. Spread the toes. Arches are lifting. And I'll take a long inhale. Crescent lunge, left leg forward, and then inhale the hands up. Same thing, be active in the posture. Back heel high, inner thighs hug together and in. So they're hugging towards each other and into the midline. It's a powerful pose when you, when you work in the posture. You know, stay steady with the gaze, Brett Dristy. 
Remember, being powerful is not flexing your muscles, it's being supple, it's being aware. You know, bring your hands to your heart, come forward, and then spin to the left. And just breathe, feel into your body, back leg strong. Mm. There's a brightness to the legs, a radiance to the body. Ah, good. Again, from here, we're going to begin straightening the front legs. Stay steady with your breath and your gaze. Three, two, take a breath in. Arrowhead, reach the hands back. Mm. Now get your eyes on the target, the dristy point. Float forward, aeroplane pose. It's powerful. It's a strong transition. Stay steady. Mm. Back leg strong. Engage the toes. You can see Movina used to be a ballet dancer. <laughs> nice. Now from there, hands to your heart. Folding forward. Bow down. Standing split. Mm. The head comes in. The chin comes in. You could wrap the left arm around the calf. And you just breathe. Just find, feel your breath. Moving in and out of the nostrils, breathing deeply, but smoothly, evenly. If there's any stress in the breath, back off in the breath. But breathe deeply, freely. Nice. Now, there are both feet to the floor. Bow forward. Exhale. That's it. Udkatasana. Inhale. And Samastahiti. Stand up. Nice. Let's do a little bit balancing. Reach the arms up to the sky. Breathe in. Right arm under. Eagle pose. Right leg up and round. You wrap it round. Good. And squat down a little bit. Nice. Stay steady. Feel your breath. Good. Hug the elbows. Good. One more breath in. And release. Inhale. Reach up. Left arm under. That's it. Left leg wraps around. You don't have to hook the toes. You hug the knees, elbows, height of the shoulders. Press the palms. And then the sacrum, right in the middle of the pelvis, press it slightly forward, and you'll feel Udiyana contraction in the lower abdomen. Nice. And then release. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then Samastahiti, hands down. Now draw the right knee up into your chest. Yeah, good. And we take a, a leg twist. So the left hand to the outside of the right foot. Right hand comes back behind you. You can look forward or to the side. You could hold the knee if you needed to hear. The breath is deep. The steadiness, the gaze is on. Okay, and we'll come back and draw the right knee back into the chest. Hug the knee in. This time, maybe take the hands onto the sole of the foot if you can. If not, just hold the knee. Begin to straighten that leg to the degree that you can do that. If you want, you could maybe bow the head down. It's optional. Nine, three, two, and release. Come all the way back up. Right leg down, right hand up to the sky. Now grab the left foot, dance with pose. Natari Jasna. Good. So from here, knees together and then kick back into the posture. Again, breathe in, no overexerting in the posture. Kick the back foot back, kick it up, breathe deeply. Beautiful, nice, and from there. If you want, you can bring right hand down to the floor. If you want to, for Chapasana. You could let go of the back leg for half moon if you wanted. It's a strong hold here, guys, so make sure and stay steady. You need to come out, just breath. Good. Take one more breath in. Both feet down, fold forward, exhale. Then reach up to standing, breathe in. Reach your arms right up to the sky. And then bring your hands down to your heart. Good. Three pose. Bring the um, right heel up into the knee. And then take the heel into the inner thigh. Bring your hands to your heart. And just steady yourself. Now we're going to interlace our hands, press down, and then reach the arms up, all the way up. Hmm. You know, a couple of things to focus on here is just the arm bones hug to midline, so hug them in, the elbows towards each other, arm bones go back a little bit, lengthen the lower back, tailbone, and then ujjayi breath, expand the ribs on the inhale, gently lift the lower abdomen on the exhale. Don't be stressed. 
But that's the breath. Just walk the breath best you can. One more breath in. And then release all the way down. Sama Stikiti. Mm, great, guys. Nice. Now, from there, let's take the left knee up into the chest. Yeah, and then the leg raise twist. So the right hand to the outside of the foot or the knee. Extend forward. Yeah. And on the lower back. Breathe here. Extend your arms back. Just a short hold and then come back to center. Hug the left knee in. And then hands onto the foot if that works for you. Breath. Stay there. Or you can come down with your head. Whatever feels right. Everyone's different. We're so unique. It's beautiful. Nice. We slowly come back up. Good, and then we come back down, Samasahiti. Left foot down, left hand up. Grab the right foot, dancer's pose. Knees together, kick back. Yeah, and just be in the pose. The right sit bone, the right sit bone presses forward. The right knee presses back. Yeah, the foot kicks back. Three, two, left hand to the floor if you want to. Optional. You can keep a hold of the foot or let go of the foot, but breathe deeply. Mm, the sound of the breath in the ears. You're breathing so well here. And then both feet down, fold forward, breathe out. Ground your feet, reach up to standing. And then hands down to your heart. Good. Now from there, tree pose. That's it. Bring your left heel up. Bring your hands into your heart. Take a moment. Now interlace the hands one way, then go the awkward way, the different, the opposite way. Press down, extend the shoulders down, and then reach up. Yeah, and it's just you, your breath. And then underneath all that, there's a stillness. There's a presence. There's a stillness. There's something that sees everything. Nice. And then from there, Samastahiti. Good. Bring the feet together, hands down the side. And just close your eyes for a moment here. Feel your feet on the air. And start to pay attention. Notice if there's any swaying in the body. Is there something moving? Notice the swaying. And then notice that part of you that's trying to fix it. It's trying to fix the swaying. It thinks it's got to do something to fix it. Just see that. See that part of you that's trying to fix, run around, fixing things. And then just become aware of any swing without trying to fix it. Just be present with it. Notice it. See it. And then often we become very still. There's nothing to do. When we start to see it. Right, so from there, let's begin again. Reach the arms up to the sky. Breathe in. Folding forward as you breathe out. Halfway left, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra pose or upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Nice. Steady your gaze. Lift the heels high. Shift forward to high plank. And slowly keep going forward towards the floor. Five, four, Three, two, and one down. Good. Now come into Sphinx pose. Come onto your forearms. Good. And just press through the armpits so the, the upper back engages. Legs, glutes, and legs all soft and relaxed. And you're opening up these lower back muscles. Good. Now from here, we're just going to bring the chin down, the head down to the floor, chin in, forehead to floor. And then bring your hands back beside your rib cage. Good. Preparing for cobra pose. Yeah, so keep your chin in and then just lift up the chest. Nice. Right, so now initially you use your hands to push up, then you kind of pull back and the heads and shoulders come back. Nice. Right, come on to fingertips. Okay, so cobra. Now from here, maybe the legs come up. Maybe one leg, two legs. Locust pose. We're coming to locust. Maybe the arms come back. We breathe three. 
you know, breathe, let the, the floor press into the abdomen. Don't push the abdomen to the floor. Feel what shifts in your body. You get your bundles connect when you do that. One more breath and then release down. Ah, look to the right side and rest just for a moment here. Mm, these back bends and these uh, cobras and locuses, these poses are so important. Yeah, it strengthens all the posterior muscles, the muscles that keep you upright all day. Really important. We should be able to hold them for at least three minutes, these poses. If you're an athlete, five to six minutes. But uh, anyone with an injury in the back, you've got to you know, start to strengthen up these muscles. Really important. Okay, now from there, floor bow, grab a hold of the feet, uh, heels into the bum, uh, and then kick back. Just kick back into the pose. If it's too much for you, just go back into cobra. Okay, now let's bend our elbows a little bit here. Bend the elbows. You're going to draw shoulder blades down your back and then kick the legs back into the full floor bowl. Breathing here. Good. Powerful legs. Good. For three. Set. For two. One more. Full breath. And release all the way down again. Look to the left side here. Just rest for a moment. Just the neck. Again, the neck can get quite tender. Ah, you get your left scapula that comes from the neck, right into the shoulder blade. It's, it's often gets tight. It elevates the shoulders. It's a beautiful stretch on it. So relax through here. Nice. Right, so now from here, let's come into cobra pose again. So bring your hands beside your ribs. Okay, now feet, hip width, or even shoulder width here. And then let's come up into cobra. So push up into cobra. And then up dog, upward facing dog. Right, now the 10 toes spread into the floor. Really important, perfect. Don't let the heels go out too much. Sit bones, if you've got any SI problems, sit bones gently hug. It's a very subtle hug. ASI, so frontal hip bones, hug as well. Sacrum presses forward, lift your heart, take a breath in. Downward dog, exhale, breathe out. Mm. Soft eyes, deep breathing. <sighs> Good, now take a little breath in here. And then a full breath out. Now bring your feet together at the back of the mat. Take the right leg up to the sky. Bend the right knee. Open the hips up. Get it half pigeon. Shin across the front. Good. Now stay in the extended pigeon. Fingers on the floor. Extend the heart up. Now stay here. This is perfect. Or if you want, you can grab the back foot for king pigeon or mermaid if you want. Yeah. Now if you want to come into sleeping pigeon as well, you can also do that as well. Good breathe. You can see Movina's got this here. She's in mermaid. The front knee and the back knee, there's a magnetization. There's energy connecting them. Definitely want to have that yeah, energetic connection. Good. Take one more breath here. And then gently release all the way down. Let's go to down dog again. Just take yourself back to down dog. Good. And then the Left leg will go up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hips up. Yep. Half pigeon pose. Lengthen. Good. Now stay here, or the back foot can come up if you want. A few different options to take there. Good. Make sure. As I always say, make sure you're doing the pose and the pose is not doing you. Make sure you're doing life. Life isn't doing you. Yeah. We see how that can often do that too as life can come in and yeah, it can get challenging. But same in the practice. Just remember just to stay present. If you need to do less, do less. Yeah, nice. So from here, Release again, downward facing dog pose. Press your legs back, soften the gaze, eyes are bright, ground your hands down, lengthening through the spine. Beautiful. From there, we're going to take a breath in. Exhale your breath, bend your knees, step or jump through, come into a seat. Okay, we're going to come into Janu Shizasana. 
So yeah, bring your okay left leg in. That's cool. Good. Reach your hands up. Good. And we just fold over the front leg there. Good. Whatever feels right. If you need to bend the knee, do that. Um, the lung, left lung, or the left kidney connects to the left to, to the right knee. So that's the kind of rolling of the ribs there, softening of the eyes, and breathing. Any pain in the knee, just back off immediately. Yeah, foot awake. Awesome. Nice. And from there, take a little halfway lift. Good. And then bring your right arm to the inside. Take the left hand up and over. You can hold your head or you can grab your foot. For the twist for the rotation. Ground the left sit bone down. And then just breathe through your body. If you're sitting down, doing a lot of work in the chair or sitting watching movies, this is perfect. It opens up right through the QL here. Yeah, nice. And from there, slowly come back up again. Nice. Bring your left hand behind you for a dancer's bridge pose. Lift your hips up, left hand up and over. If we reach forward, ground the left shin down, point the right toes. Good, and then back down. Switch legs all the way around. Heel comes in. Lengthen. Come forward and fold. Breathe. Now the sit bones, the pelvis grounds here. Lengthen through the back, ground the pelvis down. And then breathe. Mm. We're training the, retraining the unconscious through our breath. The breath lives in the unconscious mind, and we're retraining the breath. In the forward fold, we can breathe deeply. Rib cage with space there. When we back bend, it's a little bit harder and twisting, but here is a beautiful place to breathe, to practice your ujjayi. Pranayam. Great. From there, the little halfway left as you come up. Take the left hand to the inside. Take the twist. Breathe in. Good. So this upper rib cage pulls up. Left rib cage goes under. Yeah. Make sure the breath is still there. Nice. And then release from there. Take the right hand behind you for dancer's bridge pose. Good. And then gently back down again. Feet come together. Uh, legs straight out in front of you. Paschimottanasana, so forward fold. Feet can be hip width if you want. Reach your arms up. Breathe in. Extend and then fold forward. Grab the feet. Bow the head down. Yeah, it's a, part, it's a big pose, this, so if you need to bend the knees, you do that. Don't try and force it. Okay, again, the pelvis is grounding. The shoulder blades are broadening. Eyes are softening. Tongue is relaxing. Great, from there, come back up again. Okay, come all the way up. Bring the hands behind you, but one hand distance behind you. Bend the knees or straight legs. It's up to you. Uh, yeah, and then lift up. Reverse bridge pose. Let's go engage these back body muscles. If you're putting your head back, tongue on the roof of the mouth, to keep the throat engaged. Nice. Great, and then slowly make your way back down. Lie down on the floor. Let's do a little supine twist here. Lie down. Draw your right knee into your chest. Move your hips to the middle. Sit. And then take the right arm out, palm faces up, and then breathe. Okay, you're still controlling the breath. There's still that movement of the breath from the conscious part of the mind. Yeah. Nice. Back to center. Coming into the other side. Knee comes in. Take the leg across, supine twist. 
breath. From there, we gently release, draw both knees in, gently little hug in, lift your forehead up to the knees, chin comes in, and then Shavasana, lie down, straighten your legs, soften your eyes, breathe here. Okay, so now we let go of the breath, uh, Ujjayi drops off and it's back to the natural, natural state of breathing. Feel your heart slowing down, feel your breathing slowing down. And so here, just allow the feet to relax. And the arches of the feet are soft. And then just feel the energy from the arches of the feet up the inner thighs to the base of the spine, the base there and pelvic floor. And then you might feel some sensation at the base there, at the end of the exhale breath, it's often a beautiful sensation down there. And just allow that to move up the spine. Feel it. Belly soft. Drop the masks of the ego, of the face. The personality muscles. Throats relax. Like the whole body relax. encourage you and invite you to stay longer in Shavasana. Five minutes max, is, uh, minimum is great for you. Uh, if you're ready to get going though, you can start to bend the knees, stick the knees in towards the chest, slowly. Right, so then place the feet flat on the floor, roll over to the right side or the left side. And then come up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands onto your thighs, and then just close your eyes. Relax your body, and then just tune in to how the body is feeling. And just notice the pulsations in the belly, solar plexus, and the vibration in your heart, and of course the stillness in the forefront of the mind. Bring your hand to your heart center. We gently bow to our thumbs and to each other we humbly say namaste. Thank you.